guys, I'm Sean from Bluehub and today I'm going to be covering stock transfers with you. Um, so the first thing I'm going to cover is where you actually find stock transfers within Deer. So where we find stock transfers within Deer is under our inventory tab. We then have on the left our option to create a new stock transfer or the option to just search through our transfers on the right. If I click this option, we'll be presented with a list of different transfers that have taken place within this account. On the left here, we have a unique instance ID for each transfer, so it can always be traced back to, um, and they will always go up sequentially. The numbers, uh, the prefix and the number here can be adjusted on the back end of the year if you ever require it to be. Next, we have the date where the stock transfer has taken place, the location, it's being the goods were being moved from, and the location the goods were being moved to. We then have the status of the transfer, so whether that be draft, ordered, or completed. All orders start out as a draft until they are then authorized, which sets them to the ordered status. And then from there, once the, the goods have physically been moved, they will become completed. From here, you can also see the person who has actually completed the stock transfer. So as you can see, this one was carried out by me. And then you can see a reference as to why the stock transfer has taken place. On the screen, you're also able to say, uh, sort through different stages of stock transfers. So here I missed a couple out just based on uh, the main ones. So there are also the statuses of voided, which means the stock transfer has been um, essentially voided or um, made not non-relative. Um, we also have the status of picking, which means the goods are being picked from the main location currently. And this, uh, the status of in transit, meaning the goods are in the progress of moving to the new location. In transit is mainly used when you're moving goods between warehouses. Um, so anything that gets lost was in an in transit account. So you know that the goods are coming out of that in transit account and not your inventory account. However, um, this isn't actually required to be done. You can always skip the in transit section, which I'll show you in a little bit. So the next step is going to be pressing plus, which is going to create a new stock transfer for us. So this is our stock transfer menu. Um, the first thing we're going to have to do is fill out our actual stock transfer order information, which you can see at the top here. So the first option is going to be where we're moving our goods from. So this can be either a bin or a locate or a warehouse. Um, so here you can see I have main warehouse, but I can also pick goods from the warehouse uh, main warehouse bin one two three or the main warehouse bin one two four. I'm just going to pick from main warehouse for now though. And I'm going to move my goods into the main warehouse 123 bin. I'm going to give this a reference of um, storage management because we're moving our goods across the same warehouse. I then have the option to skip order, which is just going to allow me to skip this, uh, the phase of ordering our goods um, just to reduce admin and go straight to the picking stage, as you can see here, where we can actually pick our goods immediately to say what's going. So the reason you might want to skip order is essentially because um, you're doing the picking, so you're adding to that list as you go. If you want to just ha uh, delegate out a stock transfer for one of your warehouse team to actually complete, you're going to want to carry out that order so they know what to pick. Versus if you're doing it yourself and you know what needs to be picked, you can skip the order and go straight to picking the goods. In this case, I'm going to be demoing it as if we wasn't uh, the one doing the picking, so we're not going to skip the order, and we're going to create an order for our warehouse team to carry out. Um, I should find somewhere that actually has goods. We have one of this good, so I'm going to move one of this good into our new location. So my quantity of transferred is one. So essentially what this is saying is I'm going to transfer one good from main warehouse to main warehouse one, two, three. Um, from here, I'm then able to authorize this. If I press the skip button, it's just going to skip the order stage and go straight to pick, but I want to just authorize it in this circumstance. You'll see we now get the products tab appear. Now this is our actual pick sheet for our warehouse staff. So once they've picked it, this is what they would then fill out. So now that our order is made, we're able to then print this as a stock transfer order, as you can see here. And it's gonna, we can then provide this list to our warehouse staff to go and pick. Once they have then confirmed that they have picked those goods, we can then go to our products page, fill from order, or add the lines manually, 
and then send stock or complete. Now the difference between pressing send stock and complete is that send stock is going to put the goods into an in-transit account and the goods will then be in transit and on their way to the new location versus complete, which is just going to say it's done, the goods are moved and it's complete. So send stock is typically only used if you are transferring, like I said prior, um, between warehouses, but it could be used if you're doing it internally and you just want confirmation those goods have arrived at their new location as well. So I'm going to put these into send stock and in order to do that, we're going to need to provide some values in our top right here. So firstly, we're going to have to add a required by date on the shipment. Then we're going to have to have a stock sent date, which would be today, because I'm sending that stock out now. And then we will need to pick our in transit account. Um, for the account, we're going to transfer the value of the goods to while they're in transit. Um, I don't believe we have one in this account, so I'm just going to put it under intangibles. From there, I'm then going to send out the stock. And you'll see now it gets the uh, status of in transit. That means anyone who comes to this order can now see that our stock is in transit and they're waiting for it to now arrive to our warehouse or in this case our bin. So this could mean there's someone on the other side of the warehouse in a forklift moving this stock to our new location. Once we're happy that stock has arrived we're then going to select the date at which it's arrived so that's also going to be today in this circumstance and then from there we can hit complete to say that we're happy of our stock being transferred. Now that's the longest potential way you can do a stock transfer. If we were just doing an internal transfer where I was going to go pick up a good and move it from one bin to another, as a member of the warehouse staff, we can do this in a much faster way where we're going to skip the order um, and go straight through the phases. So from here, we'll then once again select our location, main warehouse and main warehouse one, two, three. Um, we can then just select our stock receive date to be today. And then we can add the products that we're actually going to be moving. Um, I did skip over this before, but just to reference, the put away field is once the stock has been transferred, you can then have the option to put it away once it reaches the other side, which is just an extra step in terms of validation that, that those goods have actually arrived at their new location. So it's almost just like a process of once the goods have arrived, you tick them off one by one as they're put into the new bin. Um, carrying on with this process though, um, next step is going to be, we're going to add in a product. So we have one of those products currently. We're then going to transfer that individual product. But instead this time of pressing send stock, we're just going to press complete. You can see the stock transfer has now become completed because Effectively, I have said that I'm taking this good from here to here, and I'm happy to just do, do that. That cuts out all of the in-transit account and the picking and order process, and just does a direct stock movement if um, you trust your warehouse staff to, to make use of that feature. From here, um, we then have our manual journals, which are where the value of any goods lost um, or moved are posted to. So when we posted our goods to our in-transit account earlier, you would see that transaction appear here. We can also see our activity logs to see who has been progressing this stock transfer and our financials to see the way uh, our financials have moved once again. I did uh, mention that manual journals were for this, but that was incorrect. My apologies. Manual journals are actually so that we can add in a, any transport fees or any kind of fees that come along with moving those goods if we'd like. So a good one would be freight shipping. If we was moving from a warehouse across the, the seas to a warehouse in our current location, we may have to pay freight. Uh, charges which we can then allocate here. That's going to be all for me now in terms of our stock transfers. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye!